Okay, so we're going to go ahead and review the different parts of the skull for the actual skeleton quiz. The first part of the skull we find up here in the front, the frontal region, is the frontal bone, of course. Posterior to that, we find the parietal bones. There's actually two. There's one on both the left and on the right sides. We can see here the suture that binds these two bones together. Posterior to those, we can find the occipital bone, the occipital bone right here. And in the occipital bone, underneath, we can find this area. This is the foramen magnum, which is the hole through which the spinal cord protrudes. We can also find, just next to that, just inferior to the parietal bones, we can find the temporal bone, which contains our external auditory meatus, and right behind that is the mastoid process. Located next to this, the other cranial bones, we find the sphenoid bone and the ethmoid bone in the eye socket. Now on to the facial bones. The facial bones include the nasal bone, of course in the nasal region. We find the lacrimal bone, which has a small duct leading down into the nasal region, which is where your tears drain when you would be crying or if you ate something spicy. We find here the zygomatic bone, the cheekbone, the maxilla, which contains the upper row of teeth. We find the vomer, which is this bone here that forms our nasal septum, the inferior nasal concha, which are right down here, these little shell-shaped bones, we find the mandible, also known as the jawbone, which is the only movable bone of the, of the skull. And here's a good shot. Here's another shot of our nasal bone, our lacrimal bone. This would, of course, be the maxilla. Back in here, we can see our ethmoid. And looking underneath, if you look at the underneath part, go ahead and remove the jaw. Now with the jaw out of the way, we can see here is our maxilla. Here are the two palatine bones that form the hard palate of the mouth. You can also see down here the back of the vomer leading up into the nasal passageways. Then we can also see the underneath part of the sphenoid bone, looking kind of like a butterfly or a bat's wing. And that pretty much does it for the parts of the skull.